This video is over lesson 47, circumference and pi. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. When we talk about pi in mathematics, sorry if you got your hopes up, but we're not talking about this kind of pi. We're talking about the number pi. The number pi comes from circles. So quick review, remember that if we go from one side of a circle through the center to the other side, that's a diameter. A radius is only half of a diameter, just going from the center to the circle itself, or the circle to the center, either way you want to view it. The circumference, though, is the perimeter or the outside distance of the circle. Pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter. And we use this Greek letter to represent it. And we have to do that because pi actually goes on forever. And when I say forever, I really mean forever. If you take a look here, you can see some of the digits of pi. We're able to fill up this whole screen, and it can keep going on and on. Pi is called an irrational number because it will go on forever without repeating. So there's no way to write it as a repeating decimal with a bar over it. There's no nice, neat way to rewrite it. So, we have to approximate pi. Typically, we approximate pi as about 3.14. So, taking the whole number and the first two decimal places. Every once in a while, we may even say, that pi is approximately 22 sevenths. But by far, 3.14 is the most popular approximation. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. If we rearrange our ratio a little bit, we come up with a formula that allows us to calculate the circumference of a circle. And so that formula is C, capital C for circumference, equals pi d. In other words, to find the circumference, you'll take an approximation for pi, usually 3.14, and multiply it times the diameter. Now, since the diameter is 2 radii, another formula for circumference is c equals 2 pi r. In sixth grade, we're going to rely on this formula more often. However, as you get into higher mathematics, especially in high school, you're going to start to lean on this one more. So right now, if you had to choose between the two, which one to memorize, I would go with this one. However, you do have to memorize this. If you don't know the formula, you cannot just come up with circumference off the top of your head. So you may want to make a, a note card, put it somewhere where you can see it, uh, write it on a sheet of paper, put it in your bedroom, but you have to have this memorized. Moving on in three, two, one. So let's do a couple examples where we actually use the formula. So let's say we have a circle, and on that circle, I tell you that the radius is 4 inches. Well, first of all, if the radius is 4 inches, that tells me that the diameter has to be 8 inches. 
I also know that C equals pi D. So if I put all this information together, I know that C equals th pi, but the problem is I'm going to approximate pi. And the moment I do that, the moment I switch out this symbol for some number that it's approximately equal to, I can no longer say that C is equal. So I'm going to have to say that C is approximately equal to 3.14, replacing pi with 3.14. Now, pi times the diameter. Well, in this case, the diameter is 8 inches. A little bit of scratch work. Three point one four times eight. Eight times four is thirty two. Carry the three. Eight times one is eight plus three is eleven. Carry the one. Eight times three is twenty four plus one is twenty five. This has two decimal places. This has none for a grand total of two decimal places. So we put the decimal right there. I got one two decimal places. So up here 3.14 times 8 inches actually is equal to 25.12 inches. And there's my circumference. Now let's do a second example. This time let's say the problem told us that D equals 70 centimeters. So the diameter is 70 centimeters. Well, since I know that the circumference equals pi times the diameter, I have everything I need to calculate circumference right here. So, let's do it. C equals pi, but pi is going to get replaced with approximately 3.14 times the diameter of 70 centimeters. A little bit of scratch work. 3.14 times 70. Well, 0 times everything is 0, so I'm just going to put that down and move on to the 7. So 7 times 4 is 28. Put the 8 down and carry the 2. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9, and then 7 times 3 is 21. I have two decimal places here, none here, for a grand total of two decimal places. And so, my answer is 219.8 because remember, we're going to reduce that extra zero that we don't need. And then don't forget the centimeters. This video ends in 3, 2, 1.